Okay, we're going to talk a little bit about a few hints that we have to help maybe reduce the feel of recoil in your shotgun. One of the things you can do, and some shotguns have these, some don't, is get yourself a good quality, we call a recoil pad, and have that professionally attached to the buttstock end of your shotgun. That provides a good deal of cushion, weigh a lot more than, than wood. One of the problems with doing that is you may have to have your buttstock shortened in order to make the shotgun continue to fit. Because if you buy a shotgun right, it's going to fit you when it comes up to your shoulder just right. You're going to add an inch or more to the end of it, so it may stretch it out too far. So take a look at that, have yourself measured, but this works very, very well. They've even got some with little traction pieces on. Another one, if more than one person uses it, is a slip-on. As you can see, this just slips right over the end of the shotgun. This shotgun started its life with a solid hard plastic piece on the end. This gives you the same soft, cushy reduction and reduces the felt recoil from the shotgun. It also adds another three quarters of an inch to an inch to the length of the shotgun. So you may need to have it cut down even for that, or if you can live with it, this is a cheap, inexpensive way to go. This way probably cost you $25, $30. This way to have it mounted, and if you need to have it cut off, it's probably going to be $150 to get that mounted on. Other things that you can do is you can shop for and buy what they call reduced recoil shotgun loads. Those are loaded with a powder charge that still does the job, but it doesn't recoil quite so much. It's not quite as hot a load, not quite as strong a load, but it'll still do the job for you when you're hunting. There are as well recoil reducing devices that you can buy and have installed in the buttstock of your shotgun. When the shotgun moves back, a weight moves forward and basically pulls part of that recoil forward, it works really, really well. They're a little, they're a little expensive, but they work very, very well. Those in, redu, recoil reducing devices are not cheap, but they really do a job. The other one, age old one, is when you put that up to your shoulder, don't act like you're afraid of it. Don't give it a fraction of an inch to start to kick. Hold it tight, real snug to your shoulder and always train yourself to do that. That's the biggest thing above all. All the rest of these are just little extras. Just for a little fun thing, most of you may not have seen something like this. This is a Browning recoil reducing 12 gauge single shot shotgun. It's really interesting. The way it works is a person has to pull the fore end up, latch it in place, and then you cock it so the barrel is actually pulled back about three inches. Shut it together, open the bolt, and this is a pretend shotgun shell, a snap cap. Put your single shot in, make it ready. Now when you pull the trigger, I don't know how well you can see this, if we're all set up, watch for this barrel on the bottom to jump forward as I pull the trigger thereby reducing the recoil that you feel at the other end. Three, two, one. That weight of the barrel jumping forward pulls it away from your shoulder just a smidgen and damps the recoil a great degree. This is such a neat gun, it even has an adjustable rib on it to allow you to change the point of impact from the shotgun. They didn't make a heck of a lot of these, but they're pretty unique old shotgun on a browning recoilless.